Hey guys, I got another nickel hunt here. Um, I got these, I got these, 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 and these. I got all five of these packs of ten at one bank. I was originally going to do a hundred dollar hunt, but I had a few extra rolls, so I figure why not make it a little bit of a bigger hunt. I do have my nickel mat out, um, and, um, um, I'm hoping that we can find something good. Um, nickels have been kind of slow. Haven't found a ton in them lately. Um, as you can see, I have two things of machine wrap rules. Uh, they're both circulated, as you can see. Um, these two rules are circulated also. Oh, you can't really tell from there, but there you go. So we're going to get into these. Um, I will say a lot of these had tape. Almost every roll here had tape, so I, I'd remove the tape ahead of time just to make it a little easier. But we're going to get into this. Hopefully, we can end the streak of not-so-good nickel batches. And I will bring you guys in on the first find that I get. I Yeah, so I got this at one bank, and then I got all these other loose rolls at another bank. All right. Let's get into it. All right, I'm on roll number two. And I got my first find. 1948. Out of Philly. All right, starting off in the 40s. I'll take it. Let's keep going. All right, we have two finds here. I grabbed this little pinch. Looked at it. And we got our 1939. Hopefully, seven minute mark. Nope. It's from Philly. And I don't see any doubling. But that's a 1939. I'll take it. And then I also see in the back here, 1946. Denver. Right, that is one in the 30s, two in the 40s, and then I did get a, uh, a 1955 as well. All right, we'll keep going. All right, well, I got what I think is a four in here. I thought it was just a damaged nickel. Sure is damaged, though. Cinco Centesimo de Balboa. So I think it's a Panamanian coin. Yeah, a really beat up Panamanian coin. Uh, I think it's a five cent piece. Yeah, five cent piece from Panama. These are linked with the US dollar. That's a cool foreign. Um, I do not find a lot of interesting foreign. I don't find too many uh, different foreigns in nickels. Um, I'm just going to peek through here. Let's see, this one looks old. This one looks old. 41. 1941S. Alright, that's number three in the 40s. We'll keep going. Alright, I'm on the first roll of the uh, two other packs of customer app. I open the roll and I see one with an S mint mark, so let's check it out. Yep, it is an oldie, 47S. Really scratched up. But that is number four in the 40s. Let's see if we got anything else in here. Some hair there, that's not good. Um, is this something? Not really, no. Mm, there's a 59. Right there, Denver. I see something up here, maybe not. Oh, that's just one of the, one of the new. Right, I don't see anything else, so. We'll keep going. Oh, guys, I'm in the um, sixth roll. I'm in the fourth roll of the second pack. Do you see that? I don't find very many buffalo nickels in custom wrap rolls. But look at this. It is worn. I do not see a date on it at all. Oh, and it's got a mint mark. I think that's a D mint mark. I think that's a Denver mint. Well, that sucks. There's no date on it. At least I don't think there is. Well, maybe. I gotta scrutinize it. Um, I will see if I can extract the date. But that is an awesome find. Um, I never expected to find those in custom wrap rolls. That is awesome. 
Um, I'll take that all day. Um, I don't see anything else. Hopefully that means this will be a good hunt. I mean, it already is with that find. Oh, I love buffalo nickels. Awesome. Let's keep going. Alright, I got another find here, and it's kind of funny. Um, I got a 1942. It's definitely not silver, and it might... Oh, that might be damaged. I was going to say, it kind of looks like it has an error by the two. But I think that's just a scratch, but I think someone tried to figure out if this was silver or not by scratching it. <laughs> um, it obviously is not silver. It's a 42P, but I thought that was kind of funny. I think... I get the feeling that somebody tried to um, identify it and see if it was silver. Um, all right, that's another find though. I'll take it even if it's not silver. All right, we got a very interesting foreign. I don't know what it was, but it has a, a very interesting rated edge. 2017, I'm gonna guess Sweden. No, no, I'm gonna guess Norway. Oh, Denmark, one crone. I don't know if that's how you say it, but Denmark, awesome. That is awesome. I don't know if I found a coin from Denmark. I might have. I found a few from Europe, but that's two foreigns that I don't know if I've ever found in, in nickel rolls before. That's really sweet. All right. We have, um, we have 32 rolls left. I got one more 10 rolls of customer wrapped, and then I got um, 22 more machine wrapped. So... We'll keep going. All right, I see another foreign right here. I think, yep, Canadian. Uh, I wasn't sure what it was at first. Really shiny. 2016. All right, that's our third foreign, third different country, surprisingly. All right, we got four more rolls of these um, custom wrapped rolls, and then we'll move on to the machine wrapped. All right, guys, I'm on the very next roll. And I see two things, two interesting things here. This is definitely a foreign. One penny from the UK, 2004. That's our fourth foreign, fourth different country. Whoa, guys. Look at the condition of this 1941. I just saw this. Holy cow. This thing has to be one of the nicest 1941s I've ever found. Look at that thing. That's amazing. Look at that. 41S. That is going to go in a flip right away. But that's not it. Look at that. We have silver. Holy cow. 1943. San Francisco. That is awesome. A silver, a buffalo. And an over 80 year old coin. In at least AU condition. I didn't even notice that. I dumped out the roll, I saw the foreign, and I saw the uh, silver edge. I didn't even notice that until now. Holy cow. Let's keep going. All right, well these rolls won't keep giving up. We got a 1947, San Francisco. All right. This has been an awesome hunt already. And we have 24 rolls to go. Oh my gosh, guys. We just keep getting good finds. Um, I, I, this is, these are the two rolls that I got with the, um, with the customer apps. Um, the two bank crap rolls you saw on the side, I got a different bank. But look at that. That looks shiny. I think it's a proof. I'm pretty sure. It is. 2000 S proof. We have the trifecta. Um, but if you take that beautiful 1941, we really got the quadfecta. It's scratched up. But I will take that. That is a good find. I don't see anything else. And, you know, at first I was, I was, um, you know, I was glad 
that um, I only had two of these rolls because look at this. There's a ton of 2022s and, and uh, 2021s in here. But that is a phenomenal find. We'll keep going. All right, we got a 1940. It's uh, shiny like the last one, but unfortunately, I think it's been cleaned. Looks like it. 1940S. It looks like some damage there. I thought at first that might have been a lamination error, but I think it's just damage. All right. 1940. We'll keep going. All right, guys. Um, I'm putting it down here because um, my battery is low and the flash is off. And I feel like it's better to film on hand, um, like in hand, when it's like that. But I didn't even notice this at first. I didn't notice it by the edge. But we have another silver. Another 1943. Another San Francisco. That's two silver nickels in this hunt. And I'm on the very first roll of these machine wraps. Um, I do not see anything else. I don't see anything, so we'll keep going. Alright, I got two more finds. I got a 1940. Uh, San Francisco. And I got something I don't find too often. A 2009 Denver Nickel. I don't find a lot of those, so I'll take that. Um, this hunt has been awesome. I don't even know if I have a space for it. There we go. All right, we got four rolls left. I don't know how better this hunt we could get. All right, we're done with that hunt, and this was a phenomenal hunt. Um, starting with some of the nicer ones, I did get... A few, uh, this one's a really nice 1964. I saw that edge and I pulled it out thinking it was a proof. Um, and it still might be. It is out of Philly, but I don't think it is. And um, we got a decent 1964. Um, even in good shape, these are pretty common to find, but I'll still keep it. A pretty nice 67 out of Philly. I don't find too many of those. Um, a really nice 1968S. Um, I do not believe it is a proof, but it's still nice. And then I did get a nice 1983 Philadelphia as well. Um, in the 50s, we got... Oh, yeah, the, that's the 40s. Uh, we did get one from 52, two from 53s. I think both were San Francisco's. Two 54s, two 55s, of course, both Denver. Um, two 50s... Or, yeah, wait. Yeah, two 57s. 158 and 3 or 4 1959s. And then for the 40s, uh, obviously ex excluding those other ones, uh, and the 30s, we did get one from 1939. Um, it is not the DDR, and um, there's no mint mark. We got, a uh, I think, a couple from 1940. Yep, a couple from 1940. 141, 142 that was not silver out of Philly. Uh, 146, uh, two or three 1947s, and one 1948. Um, and then as for the foreigns, we got, we did really good on the foreigns, too. Uh, we got that one penny from 2004 from the UK. We got, um, a 2016 Canadian nickel. Unfortunately, I do not have a spot in my album for that. Uh, my Canadian nickel album goes to 2012. Um, we have this coin from... Um, Denmark, which is pretty cool, one crone, and then this, unfortunately, it's really trashed, but it's the, a, uh, 2001, um, five cent piece, I'm guessing, since it's linked with U.S. currency, uh, from Panama, that must be some sort of, um, influential figure on there usually um on these you see the balboa warrior on there but that must be another um important figure we did get that one 2009 denver which i don't find too often and then the gems of the box or of the hunt um this was a little over a hundred dollars so not technically a box worth but it was only a hair over a hundred um it was 118 um this is probably the nicest 1941 nickel I've ever found. Uh, this is going to 
Now I get straight into a 2x2. Two two. I don't have them with me right now. It's a 41S, and it is phenomenal. Unfortunately, there's no steps. I have found a few nice ones with steps, but unfortunately that one does not have steps. We got that Proof uh, 2000S. I have not found a 2000S yet, so that's pretty cool. Um, we got the Dateless Buffalo Nickel, which I'm pretty sure has a Denver Mint. Uh, it might be a San Francisco, though. Um, I cannot tell. It is really worn towards that area. Um, and I cannot tell the date for the life of me. So I probably won't up end up uploading this video for a few days. And if I end up nicodating it between the time before I upload it, I will do a little follow-up video um, on the date that this ends up being and if it ends up having a mint mark. So... After this, um, if um, I end up finding out the date, if I end up getting a chance to find out the date, you guys will see that clip after. Um, and then we did get two silvers. Um, we got a 19, both are 1943. This one's in a little better condition. Actually, not too bad for a war nickel. 43. This is awesome because I, uh, the last one I found was in terrible shape, and it was a while ago. I mean, like, uh, really terrible compared to those ones. These ones are immaculate compared to the one that I found. Uh, but this was a great hunt. Um, I'm really happy that the nickels finally pulled through again. Um, I was not thinking that we would do as good as we did. Um, and I sure wasn't thinking that we'd find a buffalo in custom wrapped rolls. Although I've noticed I'm slowly starting to find more buffalo nickels in custom wrapped rolls. Um, I've noticed that in machine wrapped rolls or custom wrapped rolls, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, whether, you know, whether it's that and if I get a buffalo or not. Um, but this was, I mean, this was a great hunt in every department. Um, really good quality, nice and shiny coins that are in great shape. Lots of 40s and 50s. The foreigns we got were great and the best finds were awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, again, if I find out the date um, and confirm the mint mark on that buffalo, I will do a small follow-up video. I'm going to add it to this and let you guys know. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next hunt. All right, so it's been a day since I um, filmed that nickel hunt. And guys, this is incredible. Um, this is the third key date buffalo nickel I've ever found, or I guess technically a semi-key date. I am 99% positive that I just found a 1914D buffalo nickel. I will insert some pictures, um, close-up pictures, as close as I could get to the date, and I'll also insert a picture of an eBay listing of a uh, Nicodate restored 1914 buffalo nickel, and I can you you might even be able to see it right there. Um, it definitely has a Denver mint. I'm almost positive. Again, you can't really tell, but I am 99% positive this is a 1914D. I will insert a picture, like I said, on of an eBay listing that is a 1914D, and they'll match up pretty darn well. Um, this, if this is, I'm, which I'm pretty sure it is, this is a phenomenal find. Um, I found the 31S, I found the 13S Variety 2, and now a 1914D. This was a phenomenal find. So I wanted to make that update because not only do I think this is a key date coin, but also I don't think I have to nicodate it. You can see the date. Like, you can see it. It's really hard to see through the camera. Look at that. You can see it. 1914. I don't know if I can put my my phone over my loop. I'll see if I can maybe identify the mint mark. It's kind of worn where the mint mark is. But I think you can see the Denver Mint there. Yeah, Denver Mint. Right there. Yeah, right there. This is a phenomenal find. Freaking phenomenal. Look at that. You can see it. 
You know what, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna see if I can take a screenshot of this. I'm trying to take a screenshot of this.